Hello students. Today we are going to study the unit called environment and ecology. In that, the different contents we will be studying in this video will be in the intake and conveyance of water, the types of intakes. In that, the first one canal intake, the river intake, and the reservoir intake. So we'll start with how we can. Select the location of intake structures. First, intake must be located at a place from where it can draw water even during the driest period of the year. The intake site should remain easily accessible during floods and should not get flooded. In meandering rivers, the intakes should not be located on curves or at least on sharp curves. So these are the different types of intakes as per the capacity of water intakes and water supply. The intakes are classified as shown. First is canal intake, river intake, and reservoir intake. Similarly, the intakes where intake intakes are situated, the uh, depending on the intakes are differentiated. So we'll start with. Canal intake. A nearby irrigation canal can be used as the structure of water. The intake well is generally located in the bank of the canal. Since water level is more or less constant, there is no need of providing inlets or at different depths. It essentially consists of concrete or masonry intake chamber or well so this is one type of intake well for canal where it has only the this is the full level of the canal the normal water level of the canal and minimum water level of the canal so usually uh, the inlet what we have we prefer is to maintain at the minimal minimum water level because whenever we find any type of uh, drought in the cities or there might be less rainfall in that city then we usually get maintain the canal in the level of FSL but what happens usually uh, it won't be at the full level uh, it will be in the bottom level that is normal water level in the canal and after that uh, among uh, about three to uh, sorry two to three months the uh, intake of the or demand of water supply will be high because of there is no rainfall or irregular rainfall occurs in the city then what happens this normal water level reduces to minimum water level and there is a chance of going below this level too so uh, this happens to maintain uh, to stop this things we usually construct this inlet uh, pipe at the minimum water level and this is a type of intake well only there we have at what level the water will be at the same level we will be getting the water in the intake well similar way this the fine screen the intake pipe we will be constructing below the minimum water level and it is uh, at the head portion, we will be having fine screen. It will uh, screen out the some uh, type of the soil, dirts, or it might be some type of uh, dead animals. It will be screening off. And after that, the water will be sent to the cities. And to operate this pipe, we have some type of valve in the control room. It will be in the uh, 
at the uh, top band of the bridge and this is the bridge or the embankment of the canal and through this foot bridge they will be getting inside and it will be operated if the water is required they will be opening the valve and the water will be sent to the city if it is not required we will be closing it and it will be closed there will be no water supply through this pipe next there is a river intake they are generally constructed for withdrawing water from almost all rivers they are, can be classified into two types twin wells uh, type of intake structures and single well type of intake structures in twin well type they you will be having two type uh, two intake wells and uh, you will be having only one intake pipe as per uh, as it was in the canal intake here also you will be having one uh, intake wall uh, intake pipe and through this it will be sent to the another one the sump well first it was it is a intake chamber or intake well and the, this will be connected to the sump well and here there will be no uh, any type of valve it has been operated whatever the things it will be there it will be stored uh, stored in this intake well and it will be sent to the sump well and from sump well you will be dra dragging the water using pump which will be operated in the pump room and it will be sent to the treatment plant or to the city and in the intake chamber we will be placing a fine screen across the wall, uh, chamber or we will be placing a fine screen across the pipe here they have been mentioned the fine screen they, they have been put across the chamber usually they place the fine screen across this pipe where the water is going to enter it is easy to repair or to maintain the things and this is about the twin well type intake structure when it comes to single well type of intake structure we will be having three inlet pipes first will be ports at high flood level second you will be having ports at normal level and third will be of at ports at minimum water level and below this you won't find any type of water it's been drawing off and here also you will be having a pump house where the pump is been connected and the water will be sucked from bottom a strainer or the sump well and it will be sent to the city or treatment plant next we have the third one as the reservoir intake it is when the flow in the river is not guaranteed throughout the year a dam is constructed across the river to store the water in the reservoir so form reservoir intakes essentially consists of an intake tower constructed on the slope of dam at where such a place where intake can draw water in sufficient quantity even in the driest period intake pipes are fixed at different levels so as to draw water water near the surface in all variations of water levels and here they have been mentioned the three inlet pipes they have been connected to a common pipe but usually they will be having two inlet pipes at uh, the normal water level and the at minimum water level they will be having two inlet pipes will be connected to a common pipe this is the common pipe and this common pipe will be running towards the treatment plant or the city to control these pipes the inlet pipes we have the outlet valves 
and we will be calling this as the control room and to control uh, to go to the control room you will be having foot bridge it will be connected from top of the bridge to the control room and in intake valve we have this intake well this is of dry one it is not the vent one in the previous two uh, the intakes were the wet one in in the sense the water will be stored in this well but in here it will be uh, the we are not going to store any type of water in this we will be collecting the water from the reservoir and it will be sent to directly to the conduits the common uh, uh, pipe is there na from through this we will be sending the water directly to the sluice way or conduits understood so if you have any queries please let me know because to make it understand you need to practice this and all the all these three diagrams you need to practice it once or twice and uh, these questions will be compulsory in your final exams among three among these three you will be having one question and you need to write it so thank you if you have any queries please let me know